The Syntex Centrifuge Kit is a handy way to keep your oil and fuel free of contaminants. For the best results, we use a 240 volt, 14 litre per minute gear pump, as they are a low flow, high pressure pump. The centrifuge will remove items that are denser than the carrier liquid, and in this case, we're filtering a mix of used motor oil and diesel from the workshop. Start by turning the pump on, with the bypass valve completely open, so no pressure is delivered to the centrifuge. As you can see, there is almost no flow coming from the centrifuge. Now start delivering more pressure to the centrifuge by closing off the bypass valve. Keep an eye on the pressure gauge. You want about 70 psi or more, but no more than 100 psi to have the optimum filtration. Note that the centrifuge is only driven by the fluid pressure supplied, so sufficient pressure is required to spin the centrifuge fast enough for proper filtration. To turn off, start closing the bypass valve and direct pressure away from the centrifuge. Allow it to slowly spin down, then turn the pump off. The kit comes with all the fittings and hoses required to plumb the centrifuge pump and pressure gauge, as well as the bypass as shown. Given the small size of the jets in the centrifuge, we recommend using a suction strainer as well to keep large particle matter out. The kit seen here is the size 60 that does 11 litres per minute. It can also come in a size 20, which will process 5 litres per minute. The kits can also come with an optional barrel heater. This will heat the oil and allow it to flow more freely through the system. Now I want to briefly show you how to clean out the filters so that you can see just how simple it is. First I'll show you on the size 20 centrifuge. Start by removing the casing. This can be done easily using the handle on the top of the centrifuge. This will expose the rotor and internal components. Undo the nut on the top. While it should only be finger tight, you may need a 21mm spanner to loosen it off. Once the nut is removed, the catchment container can also be removed. From here, you can scrape out all the dirt and grime that has built up there through the filtration. Once clean, simply reverse the process to do it all back up again. Screw the nut back on to a solid finger tight, then place the top cover on. As you'll see, there's a warning that says only do finger tight. Size 60 centrifuge is almost an identical process, however it also has an extra external clamp that needs to be undone. Shown here are two common cakes. The one on the left is from contaminated engine oil. The other is from vegetable oil. As you can see, the contaminating material is packed into the rotor and makes a solid cake-like item which is simple to remove. Once clean, put the centrifuge back together and it's ready to go again straight away. No need to have to change filters or worry about anything else like that. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the Syntex centrifuge kits. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions or require more information.